we use the mean gant all the perimeter along the center line when we want to calculate the quantity of trench excavation or when we want to calculate the quantity of walling more so when we are doing our substructure work so it's a very crucial element it's a very important element and that is why on today's tutorial we are going to look at how to calculate the mini gate along that is the perimeter along the center line using the two examples that we have so this is our first plan that we have this is our first example here that one and then we've been given the wall thickness to be 200 so when we are talking about perimeter along the center line if that is the plan that we have and that is the wall so we need to calculate the perimeter along that along that center line like that so this is from here up to here is the external dimension from here up to here is the internal dimension so this is going to be our our thickness of the wall now what we do with this plan if you can look at the plan we have this this opening here so we need to get the entire full length from this point up to this point and the entire width from this point up to this point and then we add these walls that are here so we take this wall here we put it here we transfer it here so that we can assume now we have a full length now what remains is this wall and this wall from this point inside up to this point so that will be 12000 minus 200 and minus this 200 giving us 11600 that is the recess walls that we have two of them now then the total length before we go there when we calculating the the mini gut we can use a the external dimension we say the external is from here up to here that is two into length plus with it and then we minus the the thickness so we have the thickness of the wall is 200 we minus for the the thickness of the wall or we can use internal dimension that is two into length plus with it minus for the thick plus for the thickness so internal is from here up to here and then we are going we are going this way for us to get to the to the mini gut so we add the thickness so we are going outside now let's get the total length that is 9000 plus 6500 plus 7000 and here we add that one we get we get our total length to be 22500 and our width it is from this point here up to this point that is 12 12000 and then the recess wall we've seen is 11 11600 we multiply by two sides for us to, because there are two walls now for us to get the mean gut it's going to be 2 into 22500 plus 12000 minus for the thickness that is 4 times 200 we tabulate that one we get 68 200 and then we add our recess wall that is 11600 by 2 which is 22 23 200 we get 991400 millimeters so that is how we go about the first plan when we need to get the the mini gut remember we are going to use this mini gut when you want to calculate for the strength when you want to take off quantities of strength and when you want to do foundation foundation walling so that is for the sub substructure work so it's very important and if you miss here it's really going to be it's really going to mess the entire taking off so it's very very key now let's proceed to the second example but before we proceed to the second example if you are new here kindly subscribe share share and don't forget to leave a comment it's very important and it's been it's so helpful it's so helpful for this channel now for this second example that we have we are going to <laughs> we need to get the total length from here up to up to there so we are going to transfer this wall here and we're also going to transfer this wall here we assume now we have a full length and a full width it same to this point we are going to transfer this wall here and we're also going to transfer this wall here so we assume we also have a full length and a full width it now what remains is this wall here is is the only wall that has not been catered for so it's like you hold here and unfold assuming it's a piece of paper you hold here and fold so this one comes here this one comes here same thing with this one you hold here you unfold this one comes here and this one comes here now what remains is this wall this wall is 
the dimension for that wall is what is from here from here up to here that is 54 5400 so let's get the total length that is 2 2 that's 200 plus 200 plus 4800 plus 150 plus 54 500 plus 200 we tabulate that one it gives us 13800 our width is 200 plus 5400 plus 200 plus 4000 plus 200 and we also if we also tabulate that one it gives us 10000 now let's get the mini gut we are using the formula 2 into length plus width minus 4 the thickness the thickness of the wall is here it's 200 it's shown here it's 200 it's 200 there it's 200 so we are going to to use that 200 so if we take that one two into 13800 plus 10,000 minus for the thickness if we calculate that one we get 46 800 and then we add our recess wall this one was our recess wall that is 54 5400 we add that one to the mini gut that is if you add that one we get 52 200 millimeters that is that is the main gut so guys that is how we go about the main gut we also did a video long time ago about the mini gut that was was having a circular part you've seen it's so essential it's so important so kindly you will if we find another another plan that needs to be done for the mini gut we'll also we'll also work on that so thank you guys for your time until next time bye bye